These are randomly generated NHL players. I will be using the website I created to draft a team, except I will only be able to see the jersey number for every round. After making enough selections to build a team, we will assemble them on NHL 24 and put them through a franchise mode with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. I'm going to warn you guys right off the hop, don't know jersey numbers too well. Looking at this, number 71, Malkin comes to mind, but I already know that it wasn't. It was someone else because I had to go turn off all the filters, etc. But we will be randomizing and we will be selecting players pretty much at random. I do, of course, know some jersey numbers, so maybe I'll take a stab at those if I think it's worth it, but it's not guaranteed to be that player. First up, we have number 48, number 7, and number 91, Steven Stamkos. We're going for the far right. Oh, John Tavares. All right, we don't have to worry about salary cap, so that's fine with me. Next up, we are given number 86, number 42, and number 11. Does Marchessault wear 86? 42, I'm drawing a complete blank. I feel like 11 could be a good number. I'm gonna go with the 86. That's crazy. They all play for the same team. I wonder what the odds of that are. Three Columbus players, but we get a be a pro legend. Kirill Marchenko, number 68. That's a weird jersey number. 63 is kind of weird as well. 10 seems more standard. I'm going to take 63 just because I'm curious as to who it is. All right, definitely going to get roasted for this one. Probably should have known that. We actually lucked out though. He is by far the best player on the board here, so let's go. Number 82, number 90, and number 68. I'm going down the middle again with number 90. And we get Tyler Johnson. Maybe he has decent face-offs. I don't Is he even like a center anymore? 21. Can you do something for me? Hmm. Well, the only player that comes to mind for 37 is Bergeron. But obviously, he's not going to be here. I feel like I have to go with the left because we keep going down the middle. I've already taken jersey number 91. So let's try something different. You know what? That's fine. We take Scott Lawton. Obviously, Nuge would have been good. Fogel and Lawton are probably around the same overall. I think. Number 13, is it Johnny Goudreau is the question. A forward that wears number 55. What number is Bunting? No, he's not. Is he? Let's just one up the last jersey number and go with 22. That right there is the definition of unfortunate. Go pull up a dictionary. You're going to find this. You're not going to like it. I feel like I missed Barzal in the last one too. This guy just seems to be dodging me all over the place. 14 and 224s. It can't be the same player because I'm pretty sure I have that filtered out. We jumped up one last time. We could jump up two and go with one of the 24s, but I simply won't do that. We're going 14. I am fine with Robbie Fabry. Would have been nice to have hints. Of course, he's like 88, 89 overall, I believe with some abilities. Don't think Fabry has any. McMichaels look pretty good for the Caps. Has a promising future, but... Right now, Fabry is most likely the second best overall here. So, yeah, that's fine. 96, 49, and we have 37 returning. I'm also going to point out, I saw comments saying that only top 250 makes it too easy. I'm pretty sure we still sucked. And if I turn this off, we're getting everybody. So, we will not even compete in the AHL, probably. Regardless, give me Miko Rantanen, number 96. It better be him. It's just not. It's not him. But Kuzmenko is like 85 overall, unless they update, because I believe there's been a couple roster updates since I last checked, so I don't know. We'll find out, but he's probably still pretty good, right? After this pick, we will have three full forward lines, and we are all in the 20s here. Let's split the D and go with, well, that could work out two ways, because I could be going for 22 down the center of the cards, but I was thinking jersey number wise and go for jersey number 25, and I'm not going to regret it, because Jordan Kairou is joining... I don't know what I'm naming this team yet, actually, so yet to be determined. It is the hockey club. Could it be Ovi? Could it be? He's, of course, not the only player that wears number eight, but I think it's a risk that I have to take. Bunting wears number eight? That just shows you how much I know. I just looked it up so that I can say I have some sort of method to my madness. He did wear number 58 on the Leafs, which is why I said 55 maybe. I was in the ballpark. But I had no idea that he went all the way down to... He just stripped off the five. Number 53 again. Number 88. It's Pasta. We're going down the middle. Or it's not Pasta. But hear me out. It's Will I Am Nylander. And for our final forward, we have 22, 17, and 27, 27. It is Nikolai Ehlers.
Splendid. And with that, it is now time to draft our defensive core. Morgan Riley. I feel like I should know number 84, but nothing is coming to mind. Either way, we're going 44. Welcome to the team, Mori. I hope we actually do well finally, because I feel like in all of my videos recently when we've been simulating, I don't even think we've been making playoffs. Number six returns, number five, and number 48. I'm going for number five. Sure? Actually, isn't he pretty good overall-wise? I feel like he's 85, and he was doing quite well, so... Let's go, Middleton. Oh, number 45, number 3, and number 54. So I see what you did there, you inverse, and I don't like it. So we're going with number 3. Give me Dion Phaneuf. In reality, we wind up with Matt Waugh. Roy, I still never know which way to go. Like, is he French? I feel like we've been seeing a lot of number 5s. Giordano is number 55, I think. And then we also got a number 6. And I don't want to keep going with the middle. We already drafted Middleton that was number five. Let's go for the right card. That's a great pickup. Ekblad would have been sick. Pulock also very good. For some reason, whenever I see Pulock, I just think old NHL, like maybe NHL 14, something like that. He had like four green star potential. I could be making all this up. This could be Mandela effect to the max, but that's what I recall. This time we do actually have a pretty good looking team. Just looking at the rundown there. So I feel like we should definitely at least make the playoffs if we don't i'm going to cry this is going to be so bad if i'm wrong but i am a capitals fan i believe john carlson wears number 74 please be right correct john carlson is joining the team we are sort of assembling an all-star team here so maybe we'll finally win a cup and our final defender we have john carlson and middleton again they're not probably well they could be i can't think of another defender that wears 74 there definitely is more than one defender wearing five, but going to go down the middle, number four. Yeah, this team is maybe a little bit ridiculous. Maybe in the future I will do like half picks with the 250 filter on and then half not. I don't know. It's still a new thing, right? We're still trying to figure this out. Watch us still not win the Stanley Cup. Goaltender time. Flower times two. Who the heck else wears number 29? I'm sticking to what I have been doing. Don't like when there's two of the same jersey number, so I'm going for 32. I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea who this is. Never heard of Sandstrom in my life, but looking forward to having you on the team. I also had no idea that Jakey e. O was rocking number 29. It appears that that is a more common jersey number than I anticipated. Now our very last pick, number 33, number 34, and number 31. There could be all kinds of players for... All of these jersey numbers. We could get another wall and go for 33. I'm just kidding, by the way. There isn't legends in this app yet. Maybe a future enhancement? Definitely no promises. I'm just going to take the standard 31. And with that, we have officially got our starting goaltender and our weakest part of the team, Eric Comrie. Welcome aboard. Hopefully the rest of the team can sort of carry our goaltending situation. Let's head over to NHL 24 and assemble the squad. Okay, so normally I start in the actual franchise mode, but this time I made a little exception just to show you that we are 92 overall. We actually aren't even the best team in the NHL. 93 with Carolina. Vancouver is 94. We also have the Rangers at 92. There's a few 92s and the Dallas Stars are better than us as well. So we might be good, but... These other teams are still just as good. Holy crap, the Golden Knights coming in hot. They want Johnny T and two-thirds for Leonard and a second in that guy. I'm not making trades. We're running with the team as it is, but holy. Hopefully our chemistry is good, and I'm assuming a good portion of the reason that we are 92 overall is our goaltending. This team doesn't look that insane. They look good, don't get me wrong, especially... Probably defense, yeah. We're very good. And I'm hoping that this right here, these six hockey players, make up for our best goaltender being 79 overall, backed up by 78. Incredible stuff. Well, let's get to simulating and find out how this team does. You know what? I will make a prediction. Nylander gets the most points with... 88. He's gonna get his jersey number, of course. 44 wins in the playoffs. You heard it here first. Let's do this thing. And we start off 0-1. 
Nice. At least we beat the Oilers. Lose to the Rangers twice. Nope, we get a dub. Maybe defense doesn't win championships. Or they do. We just went on the biggest tear of all time. It was at a six, seven game winning streak. I'm not sure how old Comrie is. He could be around the same age as our backup, but either way, our backup was 26, so he could still go up and over all this year, which could help us substantially. I feel like the majority of the player growth happens before 27, and obviously if you have a stellar year at 31, you could still go up, but the potential isn't exact yet, you know what I mean? I could be making this up as well. Don't take my word for it. I am extremely casual. 36 wins at the deadline. Jason Kemp. See you later. We should be getting more than 43 wins. If we don't, then we had a really bad end to the season. But no, we're getting there for sure. 45 wins and an overtime loss. We should be in the playoffs. Yeah, we locked it down. Third in the division. And we have the Golden Knights in round one. That is going to be a tough matchup. Just shy of 100 points. We have the Golden Knights, one ahead of us here, and then the Florida Panthers winning the division. But it would be the New York Rangers that win the President's Trophy 108 and 52 Ws. Columbus did not have a good time. Neither did San Jose. Bradley? What on earth? Nearly 100 points. That's one thing. But how about 50 goals? What? Clearly these two got over the Boston-Toronto rivalry real quick and brought it together. I'm not going to overlook Miro Heiskanen with 64 points. Fourth on the team. Way to be. Not bad. 903 and a 313. Felix, though, a 910, 287. He did play like half the games, but I don't mean half the games of the season. I mean, half the amount of Comrie, but hopefully you understood that. Jake Ottinger, we could have had him. 914 and a 268. Samsonov had a great sim this year. Adam Fox over point a game convincingly. 92. Quinn Hughes, 81. Vince Dunn had 74. That's your top three defenders. Brock Besser with 55 goals. So he's going to win the Rocket Richard by the looks of it because Pappy got 49. And the Art Ross goes to Sam Reinhardt. Pavelski with 100. This was a very interesting sim, to say the least. If we go to goals, we have Marchi in second. He was right there. I was going to go look at the lines, then I realized this was not a fantasy draft. So, first three games, everybody knows the rules. Let's see how we do against the Golden Knights. Solid. Uh-oh. Okay, we're up 2-1. They can't beat us in the next two. So let's sim those, and we are still up. Will they push a game seven is the ultimate question. Oh no, the Golden Knights are at home, and it is do or die for both teams, and Mr. Conn Smythe himself gets on the board, but Will Nye, the hockey guy, gets one for the Vipers. We are out shooting them beyond belief. Tripling. Thank you. John Tavares buries one and gives us the lead heading into two. But Damon Severson ties it up. A short-handed goal on Comrie. How are we giving up shorties right now? How's that happening? At least we got one back on the peeper. There we go. Will Is that a hat trick? I think that is a hat trick. What a freak. Hurdle scores. We have 38 shots. We are piling it on right now. Don't let them get another one. Don't you dare. Five minutes left. Just hold them off. Play smart hockey. Round two? Yes! Florida Panthers, another tough matchup. I mean, it is- How is- Whoa. What's going on here? That checks out. Sure. I mean, Buffalo almost made the playoffs this year. They got pretty close. No. Anaheim's future, though. Look out. First three games, everybody knows the rules. How will we do against the Flo Rida Panthers? We have the exact same situation. We are up 2-1, so the next two games will be simulated. Same thing. Do they push at game seven? What's going on? We get scored on right away. Amazing. By who other than Matthew Kachuk? I imagine our team has to be pretty beat up. Peeper goal for Marchi. Good stuff. Asplin scores for the Florida Panthers to give him a 2-1 lead heading into the second. No way. Barkov giving them the insurance marker. We were being outshot pretty heavily. We're kind of bringing it back, but not really. Stop giving them power plays. That'd be a good start. It all comes down to this. This could be the final 20 minutes of the Victoriaville Vipers. But Marchi does not want that to be the case. Cuts the lead down. That's just rude. Five minutes remaining. Three minutes remaining. Okay, we have life. We have life. 20? No! Second round exit. Let's see who wins the Stanley Cup. 
The Rangers and the Sabres. And we have Colorado and Florida. That was quick. Congratulations to the Panthers for winning a Stanley Cup and the Coachella Valley Firebirds on their Calder Cup championship. William did great. 18 points. Bradley, point a game. Eight goals. Good stuff. Kairou did solid. Yeah, you know what? I think there's no one we can really blame. Everyone did their part. We just got outplayed. Well, might have spoke a little bit too soon, as a matter of fact. Just looking at this right here. Could be the root of the problem. Bobrovsky, 917 save percentage. That save he made, which I guess when I upload this would have been a long time ago. But on Tampa, where he was like backwards and just kind of threw his arm. Insane. This guy announced his retirement and he's still going off. Fox and Montour, 23 apiece. But Montour did it in one less game. And how about Darlene with 20 and 18? 25 points from Nate Mack. This would be a prime opportunity to give the con smite the Bobrovsky. Bet you they don't do it. The art and the heart go to Sam Reinhardt. The Sam Reinhardt Memorial Trophy. Norris goes to Adam Fox. Marner with the Lady Bing. I don't think I've ever seen anyone else win this. Maybe one time. They're giving the Conn Smythe to Montour. Fair enough. Sammy grabs the Vesna and the Jennings goes to You See What I See. Pulak scoops up the Masterton. Sylvester is awarded the Jack Adams. Sydney the Kidney with the Selkie. And then we've got Reinhardt and Besser. Could have been our guy. Very close. Well, here is the playoff tree. We got to round two and we were dusted by the eventual Stanley Cup winning Florida Panthers. It just be like that. Appreciate you guys as always. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be fire. And I will see you soon.